Hi everyone, today uh, I'm going to do a video showing you how to use Tableau to analyze camera trap data. This is going to be the first of three. Uh, so we're going to start off with some sort of introductory uh, aspects of Tableau. And we're going to start off with one data set. Uh, we're going to be working with Snapshot USA data sets. So these come from uh, all across the United States uh, camera trap data. Um, and we're going to start with the observation data. So to do that, I'm just going to drag the observation data into the Tableau um, program. Uh, this is Tableau Public. It's free. Um, and you'll see it's in there now. You see the, uh, the column names are there. We're going to hit update now, and now it'll show us the data. And so what we're starting with is observation data. That means that's every time an animal was detected by a camera trap, we get a row. And so here you can see the, the, uh, the array, the subproject. This is from Michigan, Detroit, uh, the site name. So here you can see one, there's, four, there's a few detections, and then we've got another site uh, and another site name. And then as you go over, you can see the species name, also a common name, um, and then the latitude and longitude and, and the time. And you'll see uh, um, Tableau automatically knows this is time. It's registered this as a time field. And it's also registered latitude and longitude as a geographic field. Now, if you have them labeled slightly different, it might not. And you can just change that by going in there. Uh, but it's already got that right. So we'll leave that alone. Okay, so now it's it's telling you go to worksheet because this is where you're going to do all this is where you're going to do your work. So let's make a sheet here. Go to sheet one, um, and it will it will load up there. And uh, what we're going to do now is let's make a bar chart um, to see how many fields we have. And uh, we'll just start. You can really do this with any field because we're just going to do a count, and they're the same across the way. So we can go ahead and let's just do an um, a count of uh, whatever. Let's do a count of common name. Okay, so there's all the common names. Uh, you can see them all listed there. And how, how many times was there a row with common name? So you see changes from measure to count. Now you can see, okay, we've got 1,600,000 uh, 1600, uh, uh, rows. Um, and, but now let's, uh, let's do that by column by common name. So now we've got the common names down here and it's counting how many rows were there for each one. And so we've got a giant bar chart showing how many detections we had for each species. That's cool. Uh, it'd be cooler if they were colored by species. Well, that's easy. Uh, grab common name, drag it into color. Now you've got them all here on the side uh, and you've got them all colored by common name. Um, now, maybe you don't want everything, right? We've got here um, owl species, other bird species. Maybe you don't want all of these. So what you can do is drop common name into filter and now you can uncheck the ones that you don't want. Uh, so I can go through here and let's say I don't want, um, I don't want the birds. So I, I could go through here and unclick. Maybe I don't want the bicycles. Um, uh, and maybe I don't want the camera trapper. Uh, you know, some of these that are registered that you might not care about. Um, and so you can have fewer ones show up. Like we also have a bunch of unknowns down here, right? So you might say, okay, I don't want the unknown animals. Um, maybe you do. You know, maybe you want to add up all the unknown chipmunks and all the unknown species to be a certain, you know, like prey or something like that. So whatever, it's up to you. You can um, you can have those uh, turned on or off here, um, and like vehicle, you might not. Okay, so now you've got those um, limited down a little bit. Um, it's still kind of hard to process it all. So one of the things we might do is uh, is we might want to sort it, and I think I think the sort should be down here. Is there the sort? Somewhere down here is a sort. Maybe I'm not gonna be able, oh, there, uh, no. All right, I might not be finding the sort. We'll leave the sort for now. Um, we'll go, so uh, the next thing we might wanna do is uh, let's filter by array. Cause this is, this is all the Snapshot USA data, right? From all the different countries. Oh, there's no animal. I gotta get rid of a no animal. Good. So edit filter, definitely gotta get rid of no animal. You can just do a search, no animal yeah human non staff no animal i don't want those in there those are just uh times when we got a picture but there was no animal in there okay got rid of those um so let's filter by um uh which one was it called camera trap array this is also sometimes called sub project so now we've got all those in there and we could only look at one of these but the way we're going to do it let's do all and now this is what's cool about tableau is we can make this interactive so let's say camera trap array uh show filter now it shows up on the right and you can turn them on or off as you go, right? Uh, and one of the ways I like to do it is you can change the, the filter type to be a single value slider. And the nice thing about this is as you click, you can just kind of rotate through and say, okay, Alaska, 
brown bears. That's cool. Look at all the brown bears at the Alaska site. Click to the next one. Um, Alabama forest Auburn. So they had a lot of Eastern gray squirrels. Uh, and so you can, you can um, have these, uh, um, uh, so you can just kind of click through. So that's, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. We can see all these different projects and see um, which, uh, which ones, which species they had the most. I'm trying to remember how to filter. Oh, you can also change the, so the titles up here, right? Maybe you want to have the title be, so format title, instead of just saying sheet one, um, whoops, uh, go to uh, um, edit title and you can say insert. So I want to get rid of just the sheet name and let's call, let's say insert camera trap array because we have that uh, as the filter. Okay, and now as we hop, hop around, it changes up there as the title. I know this sort was down here somewhere. See, there's, there, there's sorting this. Oh, that's annoying. I forgot how to sort. Oh, well, you guys will figure out how to sort. You can sort them up and down. Um, okay, so now we've got this. Uh, that's cool. Let's go ahead and save it. So when we save it, um, let's call this uh, snapshot USA observations. Uh, and this is going to save it up to Tableau and put it on. Uh, you, so you need to have your Tableau uh, password, um, right? And an account, and it'll save it to your account. And now that will show up. Uh, let me escape out of full screen here. And now that has shown up as a website over here and it's interactive. And I can send this URL to somebody and they can check it out. Um, and uh, you can change the data privacy if you wanna make it publicly available or not. Um, you, can, uh, uh, you can allow others to download and explore this or you can, uh, you can not, but that's whether they download and explore the data. Um, or you, you, but even if you wanna make it visible, if you go to, um, to your profile, you will see all your observations and see the, this is not visible to the public. So that means I could share the link and someone who has a link could look at it, but uh, no one would be able to find it just by going to my thing. Um, so that's the basic of saving. Uh, so now we've got this cool graph. Um, let's see, let's do something else. So, so let's, let's make a new sheet. And this time I wanna look at, um, uh, I'm interested in time of day. Um, and uh, we're gonna make a new field uh, using uh, an equation. Okay, so here's time of day. Um, and let's just go here and say, create calculated field. Okay, uh, and we're gonna make, we're gonna call this field hour. And now we're gonna do a, a function on begin time. And that function is called date part. Start typing, you see date part, right? And it's telling you, what does it need? It needs to know what's the date part and then what's the field you're working on. And we're gonna use hour. So type quotes hour and then close the brackets on here. And, and now it's ready to go. So now we've got hour. Um, and so we can look at hour. Um, uh oh, what's my warning? Calculation contains errors. What, oh, there's supposed to be a comma here. There we go. Good. See, and it's telling you that. It's telling you the, 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 the way it wants the formula. There we go. So now we got, we've got hour. Um, this is cool. So now we can we can make some uh, some cool graphs with with hour. We can look at okay, well, what time of day uh, were um, animals seen? You can see first. It, it, sometimes it does this. It wants to sum it. Say okay, I don't want to sum it. I want to see this as a dimension. So there's and let's put it in columns. There's all the hours, and then uh, let's do a count of hours. Um, so here's hour, and this time instead of a sum, we'll do a count. And so now we can see what time of day animals were seen. Uh, maybe you wanna change this to a bar. Maybe you like the line, either one works. Um, uh, but actually one of the cool things you can do with the bar is okay, well, what about the species that are involved? Uh, and you can drop in um, common name to color, add all members, and there's all your species and what time they're active. That's pretty cool. Of course, you know, some of these you might not want, like the no animals. So you could add that as a filter, or you could just sit here and say exclude, and it'll automatically uh, exclude it up there. Um, probably the better way to go is to take common name and filter and remove the ones that you don't want uh, this way. But so now you've got a cool activity graph, right? So we, we, let's just do, uh, maybe we, uh, 
well, we, we could we could do the same way we did before, right? And let's just look, let's um, show filter. Now it shows up on the side, change the filter to single value slider, boom. Now we are uh, jumping between. So some, some species don't have a lot of data, right? Badgers don't have a whole lot of data, um, but here's, here's American beaver. Um, you can see they're pretty much nocturnal. American bison, active all different times. Black bear, that's a pretty interesting uh, uh, pattern, uh, more active in the evening, but active all day long. Uh, hognose skunk nocturnal, so et cetera. You can sort of fly through these and see your result. The red squirrel is very diurnal um, for this. So one more thing I want to do. Uh, the, um, oh, I got two more things. Uh, the first thing is let's let's make a let's make a group, um, and let's do that. Uh, so we're going to make a group on hour, and I want to say let's just do let's let's group time into day and night, All right? So we create a calculated field, oh, no, create group. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take daytime from 7 uh, to 6 p.m. And this is about right for, for this area. And call it group and say, this is day. And then I'm going to put the other ones, group into night, and then grab the other ones, the other part of the night, and say, add to night. OK, cool. So now um, let's make a new sheet. And we can um, uh, drop in this into the columns, or actually into the rows. We can do all kinds of things. So day, night, and let's just say, uh, let's, let's keep it simple. Let's just do coyote. That's an animal that sometimes is more nocturnal and sometimes is less nocturnal. So that'd be interesting. Um, and then, uh, so we've got only coyotes. Uh, we've got hours are group. Let's do count, not sum of hours, but count of hours. And now you can see uh, how often uh, it was day and night. Um, so, you know, so the nice thing about Tableau is you can kind of pop it or you can kind of move things around. Um, uh, let's do, let's do this. Instead of, uh, let's put our group into color. There. So now we're gonna do it this way. Uh, our, uh, our group, oh, our group, let's rename that first of all. I didn't um, give it a good name. It should be day night, right? And so drop that into color. And now you can see, okay, uh, the proportion of the coyotes that are active in the day and the night. Um, and then, but let's look at this across camera trap arrays. So now across all our different study sites, you can see how many coyotes I got. And if they were more common in the day uh, or the night at all these different study sites very quickly. Um, now it's a little spurious because some, some, some places have a lot of coyotes and some places have few. So you can also um, standardize this and say, um, let's make this a quick table calculation and let's do it the percentage of the total. So instead of just a sum, let's do a percentage of total. Um, and then we need to also edit that and say compute using. So what are we gonna compute the percentage of total from what? Right now it's doing a total from all records in the database. Let's do it total from the camera trap array. Um, no, that didn't quite work. I usually have to mess with these a little bit uh, to get it right. Um, there we go. So now it's showing uh, the percentage day night uh, for different study sites that coyotes are nocturnal or diurnal. And this might be interesting for all sorts of different research questions about, especially often animals are more nocturnal around people. So that would be interesting to look at that. Okay, so now, um, Covering a lot of ground. One more thing I want to show you is maps because they're uh, they're really easy in Tableau. You just grab. So I'm gonna make a new sheet. Grab latitude, drop it there. Grab longitude, drop it there. Uh, and now it's done this Tableau thing of making it the average. So this is the average latitude and longitude of all our data, which we don't want to do. So change that to dimension. And now you have a nice map. Okay. Um, and uh, Let's uh, let's not. So this is all records, right? So let's let's do a filter. Let's just do bobcats and coyotes. Bobcats and coyotes. Okay. So now it's just our bobcat and coyote records. Um, and um, now, uh, how do we tell them apart? So let's uh, instead of this marks, right? So this is our field where we change the things that are in the view. And so instead of right now, it's automatic. Let's change this to shape. So now shape shows up here. And then we can drop a common name into shape. 
And so now it's making bobcat circles and coyotes squares. Uh, and maybe you want to change that. You know, maybe, okay, I want, um, I want Bob, I, I want to use filled shapes, right? So let's make bobcats filled circles. Let's make coyotes X's. Okay, cool. Um, so now you can see these a little bit better. You can see the X's for the bobcats and the X's for the coyotes. Um, uh, some color would be nice. Common name of the color. Now you've got them colored as well. Um, do you like those colors? If not, you can change them. You can, there's all sorts of different uh, color scales here. And you can say, let's make the coyotes uh, orange and let's make the bobcats blue, whatever you want. Um, cool, okay. Um, now, how about the size? We can, we can make the size bigger if there's more uh, animals detected. And so we had this value called count, which is how many animals were detected. So it's a numeric value. And we can add, drop that in size. And now it's sum of count, which is what we want, because we want to know a sum of all the, all the, the, all the images from that location, how many were there there. And that's going to that's gonna scale it. Uh, and you can change if you want to make them relatively bigger or relatively smaller, you can do that here. We'll leave them like that. Cool. So now we can see the coyotes. We can see the bobcats. Uh, they're colored. They're shaped. And they're scaled according to how many um, ones there were. Now it's still kind of big scale, which might be interesting, um, but you might also want to see it at a finer scale. So let's do um, camera trap array, drop that into filters, add all. This is a trick we've done before, right? Now let's make that show filter. And now let's make that filter go over here and say, make this a single value slider. Okay. So now we're seeing. Uh, now we're, oh wait, oh, and then, so this is when, if you, when you jump around, so right now it's the map is staying at the big scale, right? So we're seeing the results, but we're not jumping around. Um, if you click this little pin, so it's, it's not X'd, so it's like that. Now it'll zoom in. So now you can see California. Here's where the bobcats and the coyotes were. And uh, where's this? California, Sierra Nevadas. Uh, and so this is, this is, this is cool. The maps is a little boring, so we can fix that. Go up to map, map layers and go over here. This thing has, has popped up. You can change the uh, type of map that you're looking at, uh, and you can change all sorts of layers. So maybe you want to see the satellite view, uh, and realize, oh, there's a golf course right there. Well, that's interesting. Um, or maybe you want to do the outdoors. You can do this funky dark one. Um, whatever works for your thing. And then there's various options here of how much, what details you want to have included. Um, and again, you might want to have this um, title, insert the camera trap array name. Okay. And now we're, as we flip around, we're seeing the location. We're seeing uh, where they, where they were. Cool. So hit save, right? Save your data up there. Sometimes if you work too long without saving uh, and you can just over, overwrite this, save the same one. Yeah. And then it will pop up. And where's my safari? That'll pop up. I think I just have one more thing I want to cover in this video. And that is that, OK, so now you can see uh, we've got this most recent one. You can see the tabs here from the three different tabs that I was working on. You might want to ne rename them. Um, uh, but um, you can see those tabs because I have selected down here, if you click the pen, the pen uh, show workbook as tabs. So if you don't want that, if you unclick that, um, the tab, you, only the, the one that was on top when you saved it will be visible like now, um, but you can, you can change that. Okay, so that's the, big, that's the first video. Hopefully you guys now have an idea of, of what the observation data is, right? So it's each observation, where it was, what time of day it was, what species it was, how many were there. And we've got some examples of how to do some basic graphs, some activity graphs, and some basic maps. So I'm going to uh, uh, upload this one now, and I'll do a second video with some more detail about the deployment level uh, data and how we uh, work with that.